if you deal with these EB2, EB3 cases, uh, especially from India where they're on H1Bs and they're pending forever, or just a general H1B, and the client wants to travel, um, if you're, I guess this is Indian uh, visa topic, but um, there's a thing in India they have called the Dropbox where you try to avoid doing an interview. Uh, if your case is, for example, an extension or you got a visa before, you drop off your passport and they'll stamp it and give it back to you. That process is taking weeks and to a certain extent unknown. So we have clients who have been, you know, haven't visited India for a while. And one thing about Indian clients, you know, is they love going back to their home country. They have a lot of celebration. So if they could, they try to go back two or three times. But the poor people have been locked out and can't go back in because of COVID and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, they, they think that just go, you put in Dropbox, get the visa. It's not guaranteed. So there's that delay um, that could mess up things and worry. And who knows if they'll get back, what kind of issues they'll find. So it's not as cut and dry. And with the economy the way it is, who knows? They go back to India and all of a sudden they get notification that they're fired and they're over there. It's hard to then find a new job. So it's it's unfortunately not as clean and easy to do something like that. Our colleague Bob Weber, uh, who's prolific on LinkedIn, ha had a, a post about this. That was really interesting. Definitely check out his LinkedIn page. Probably the best uh, immigration lawyer LinkedIn page. Unfortunately, even before mine, I'm trying to do what he does and post that much, but he's prolific. I'm not sure. He probably has staff writing for him because I don't know how, how he's putting out this much content. <laughs>